it stalled off on a wing, hit a wing, hit the other wing, hit, went in nose first like this, and then it continued and flipped upside down. It was upside down. And he basically, on impact, um, he broke his neck. Kevin up, Wagner up, believes up, that this was the way his father, Charles Wagner, died. When he and his sister heard about the plane crash, they immediately came to Gloucester. After the first shock and the funeral, they now find the time to remember their father's life. He'd always told me that, and I believe to this day because he still does it, anytime an airplane goes over, he always looks up. Charles Wagner's passion was flying, according to his son. After he finished college at OU, he joined the Navy, went to Vietnam and searched for enemy subs from the air. Back in the U.S. he became a commercial pilot. He flew with passengers for 31 years for three different airlines. Kevin down, says from time to time he would team. tell a story oh, okay. like the time so he had a hijacker on board. Channel, you know. They had just left Miami. They were going somewhere when they were close enough to Florida still that this guy got up, had a, had a mason jar. That's what he said. He described it as a mason jar. And he said, he said, he grabbed a flight attendant and he held the mason jar and he said, take me to Cuba, I will throw this in her face. Wagner says his father experienced a lot, but he would never brag about it. In 2000, Charles retired and dedicated himself to another passion he had. Charles Wagner didn't only love flying, he was also passionate about farming. After his very last flight from Boston to Cincinnati, he came here, started to plant soybeans and owned about 200 sheep. Kevin Wagner says his father loved his farm. Now he wants to keep it in his family as a place where his daughters can play. Reporting for WOUB News, I'm Merle Tilk.